We are talking about the glaring hole that we have at defensive tackle. The Detroit Lions probably, in my honest opinion, will not draft Jalen Carter. We did not get Deron Payne. We have not at this moment made a move for Jeffrey Simmons nor Ed Oliver. The Detroit Lions still need a defensive tackle. It is the one, like the one major position that we have in field. That and backup quarterback. We also need a linebacker, but I've given up on that. I did see a mock draft that was outstanding. Ridiculous. We got Jack Campbell. We got we got like a cornerback, a linebacker, a defensive tackle, and an edge all in the first four picks. But you know our guy, man. We got to bring this up. We got to bring my big homie. I need to reach out to this guy. Get him on the show, man. Get him on Syndicate Sports Detroit. Brad Behrman says, underrated. This comes from fan sided. Underrated remaining free agent easily named as a fit for the Detroit Lions. This is from an article this, this morning. It is a defensive tackle. I've heard his name before, but he is currently still a free agent. He's a defensive tackle. His name makes me laugh a little bit. He also just got finished playing for the Seattle Seahawks. His name is Puna Ford. Puna Ford is the remaining free agent defensive tackle that could easily fit with the Detroit Lions. He's going to take a quote from Matt Lombardo of Heavy.com, who says, few things are more detrimental or disruptive to a quarterback than interior pressure. And Puna Ford excels at creating inside push from the defensive tackle spot. In 2022 with the Seattle Seahawks, Ford produced 22 quarterback pressures to go with his career-high three sacks, 14 hurries, and 35 total tackles. Ford is arguably a top 15 talent at the position and could provide similar value to a contending team aiming to beef up along the trenches. Now, I did see his name as I was looking at free agents. When you look at his total stats, and I know a lot of people look at PFF, eh, I get it, I get it. He had the, in 20, he was drafted in, man, he was actually undrafted. He was undrafted. Puna Fort was undrafted. That's even better. He's 27 years old. He's a short, big dude. Well, I'm not, I'm not short, but 5'11 in, in NFL terms is kind of short. 310 pounds. He is going into his sixth season. He, was, he, he played for the Seattle Seahawks. He had to not be drafted because it doesn't list where he came out at. He played at Texas. He's played all five years with the Seattle Seahawks. Let me know if he was drafted because it doesn't say he was, and usually that's what that means. He's quite durable. 11 games in 2018, 15 in 2019, 16 in 2020, 17 in 2021, and 17 in 2022. From the interior tackle position, he got half a sack in 2019. He had two sacks in 2020, two sacks in 2021, and two sacks in 2020. I'm sorry, three sacks in 2023 for a total of seven and a half. Now, a free agent means that we don't have to give up some draft capital, right? That is music to my ears because with Jeffrey Simmons, we're going to have to give up something, and it's probably going to be a first-round pick or close to what T.J. Hawkinson, probably a T.J. Hawkinson-type deal. Well, they gave a, they gave gave we gave them a player, and they got two a player and a pick. We got two picks. So we probably have to do a second and third easy. Okay. Now, here's, here's the thing that, to me, would probably keep us from doing it. But Seattle is a master. I mean, Brad Holmes is a master, bro. When it comes to this salary cap, he is a master. According to SpotTrack, his estimated salary for twenty for this coming year would be nine point two million dollars. Nine point two million. According to SpotTrack, the 
contract, a contract of three years would have a $26.6 million value with the annual annual salary of $8.8 million. Now, Brad Holmes has only signed from what you can tell me if I'm wrong. All right. We only have how many free how many age people did Brad Holmes sign to three year deals? Anzalone played two. He just got his first one. Cam Sutton got a three year deal. Romeo got a what? Was Romeo a three or a two? I know Charles Harris was a two. There can't be more than four people on the Detroit Lions, five max, who have three-year deals. Cam Sutton, three-year deal. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, one-year deal. Emmanuel Mosley, one-year deal. Khalif Raymond got a two-year deal. Josh Reynolds, at the end of 2021, signed a two-year deal. That wouldn't be bad, man. 27, six-year in the league, veteran. We missed out on Calais Campbell. I wouldn't mind this. I wouldn't mind. And, and as far as the, the right price, we don't have to worry about the right price. Brad Holmes is the, the right price. This brother do not spend money. Nick says only Sutton and Anzalone. Well, there you go. There you go. Two three-year deals in Brad Holmes, Detroit Lions general man- manager history. Hmm. Okay, so before we get off, what would you say? I would say for Puna Ford, 27, he'll be, he'll still be 27. He'll be on the way to 28 right before the season starts. Oh, yes, yeah, it says right there, undrafted 2018. That's not bad for, un- I love undrafted players. Two years, two years, I give him his 18 million. Two years, 18 million with like 13 guarantee, somewhere around there. Okay, his current contract for 2023 was what? Hold on. Good thing he ain't making a deal with me. Let me see what that was first. Unless Holmes resigns Ragnow, he would be 30 at the end of his three year contract. Okay, Caden says, I think that's too much. All right, let's see. Okay, so his current sign track, his, I'm sorry, sign track, his current contract, you might be right, Caden. You might be right, bro. All right, good thing I'm not the GM, huh? Two years, $12 million. He had a signing bonus of three and a half. His average salary was 6.1. Total guarantees, 7.5. He got 7.5, 7.5 as a signing bonus. So his signing bonus was guaranteed. Okay. Okay, now before we move forward, let's look at what he did coming into that season. Okay, so when he signed that contract going into the 2021 season, he had he only had two and a half sacks. Since then, he's gotten five. So I think he's going to demand a little more. Caden says two years, 14 million, the most I would do. Okay, how much would you guarantee? So leave it in the comments below. Brad Berryman thinks that Punta Ford would be Puna, I'm sorry. Puna Ford would be a good defensive interior lineman. We could use one. Two years, $12 million. So I say, okay, I think, I think I'm with you, Caden. Two years, $14 million. I give him $8 million guaranteed. Nick says one year, $5 million. Bruh. 